on behalf of research team of Access Securities, we'll talk about the market outlook. Firstly, Indian indices are expected to open higher. SGX Nifty is trading higher point seven three percent. Also, Punjab National Bank detected some fraudulent transactions worth eleven thousand three hundred crore. On the corporate front, Bharti Airtel reportedly is considering listing its Bharti subsidiary Bharti Airtel International, which controls the group's African operations on an overseas stock exchange. Also, Torrent Power signs pact with Siemens Gamisa for wind power projects. On the thematic front, discuss about the metal sector. Metals are largely stable. Non-ferrous prices were stable with zinc lead rising by 5%. Chinese domestic steel prices have corrected 5%, but export prices maintain in USD terms due to yuan depreciation. Comparison focus, Hindustan Zinc. Clarity on volume expansion, FI19 to be game-changing as the company hits 1.2 billion run rate, high return ratios and dividend yield. Also JSW Steel, rise in volume and realizations, win of 5 Karnataka iron ore mines. Also Tata Steel, strong growth in EBITDA pattern, highest ever profit growth in Q3 FI18 with all-round growth in revenues, EBITDA pat and bidding afresh for Electro Steel on mat relief. On the technical front. Nifty opened on a positive note and remained positive in the first half but heavy selling in the second half led the index lower. It closed at 10,501 with a loss of 39 points. Chart pattern suggests that if Nifty crosses and sustains out 10,540 levels, it would witness buying which should lead the index to 10,580 or 10,620 levels. However, if index breaks below 10,460 levels, it would witness selling which would take index to 10,430 to 10,400 levels. Stocks looking strong, Apollo Hospitals, Balkrishna Industries, BEL, Canfin Homes, Chola Mandalam Investment and Finance, DHF and Engineers India. Stocks looking weak, Bank of India, BPCL, ICIL, Bharti Infratel, Oriental Bank of Commerce. USDNR opened with a downward gap and remained negative throughout the day. It to the 64.2 with a loss of 0.35%. The chart pattern suggests that if USDNR breaks and sustains above 64.1 levels, it would witness selling which will lead it towards 64 to 63.9 levels. Important resistances for the day are placed at 64.4 to 64.5 levels. On the derivatives front, Nifty futures closed at 10,495.2, decreased by 0.45%, with 0.3% decrease in open interest, indicating long unwinding. FIS were net buys in derivative segment to the tune of 2,928 crores. Among stock futures, Vigard, Balkrishna, M&M Finance and Indigo have witnessed long build-up and measure strength in the coming session. Stocks have witnessed short build-up are Infratel, SBI, Godrej Industries and Arvind and may remain in the coming session. So this is from RN. Thank you.